Hello everyone, for today's magic card trick tutorial, I thought it would be neat to share with you a neat kind of card change effect. Uh, it happens right in front of the spectator within the blink of an eye, and it's kind of really visual and really neat to do. And I'm gonna demonstrate how to do this with two decks, but you can obviously do this with just one deck, and I'll explain more about that in the tutorial part of this video, okay? So I'm gonna have a spectator select a card by just telling me when to stop as I go through the deck like this. And let's say they stop me right there, they can look at that card, remember it, okay? I'm gonna lose it back in this deck right here, okay? Before I started the trick, I actually put one card face up inside of this deck as my prediction. And wouldn't it be amazing that the card that I put face up in this deck matched the spectator's card that they stopped me at. Look at this, there's gonna be one card face up inside this deck, the seven of clubs, was that your card? No, that wasn't your card? Well, hold on, if I just do this, boom, I can change it back into the four of diamonds, was that your card? And that's easy card change with a flick. And it's really easy to do and really neat to do, okay? Now, well, before I explain how to do it, please like and subscribe to this channel. I really appreciate it and, and like this video. I'd also like to give a shout out to my channel members. I really appreciate you guys, all the new members, old members. Um, I really uh, enjoy having you guys around. And if you like more information on how to become a channel member, just click that tab on YouTube and it's all done through YouTube and it explains all the details uh, that that has to offer, okay? Also, check out thebestmagicshop.com where you can find some awesome new magic tricks, accessories, shirts, bags, and more for yourself or anyone who just likes magic. Okay, now for the tutorial. Easy card change with a flick. Um, very visual, as you saw, it was really neat to do. Um, it happens right in front of the spectator's eyes within a blink of an eye and just flicking the card, the card changes into their selected card. So it's kind of neat to do. You can do it with one deck. I do it with two just because you get rid of the gimmick um, with do, using two decks, okay? So um, I'll explain how to do it with uh, uh, two decks, but you can obviously do it with one deck uh, and just make a few minor adjustments like by taking... Um, certain cards out that you're gonna, you know, obviously there's a force involved, you're gonna just get rid of those from your regular deck, okay? But you are going to need a double-sided card. Now, if you have a double-sided card, great. Um, you only need one, so uh, you may have one lying around, uh, maybe at your local magic shop, they sell them individually. Um, I don't know how much they would sell them for, but whatever. But you can get also a seven gaff card set, which has uh, seven gaff cards in it total from thebestmagicshop.com and um, you know it has a blue 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 back blank face blue red back and then red blank face red red double backed um, a short card and then a double face card okay you're going to need the double face card for this trick okay but you can get these from the bestmagicshop.com they're a few dollars plus um, there's a cheap shipping option uh, available for these two it's just a cost of a postage stamp so it's easy to cheaper for, uh, to get these there okay if you don't have like a magic shop around you or whatever okay and you, you get a whole bunch of gaff cards pretty much every gaff card you need for a lot of tricks okay so you can get those there but you are gonna need a uh, double faced card okay so there's no colored back so it doesn't matter and uh, what I did was just put it on you know into a regular deck I put the, this is the force card that I used for diamonds. This is the non-force card. So I just put it somewhere in the middle and placed it in the box like this, okay? Then I had my force card on the bottom and you can force the card any way you want. I have a whole playlist on how to force a card uh, either by using sleight of hand or just non-sleight of hand methods uh, at all to force a card. So it's really easy if you're, very, if you're just starting off in card magic how to force a card, or if you know a little bit of sleight of hand and comfortable with cards, you can force a card uh, a, a couple different ways too, okay? So there's a whole playlist and I'll put a, uh, a link to that playlist in the description of this video too, okay? So I force the card, it's just a regular deck of cards and I force the card using the Hindu shuffle method, which is just forcing the bottom card. And all you're doing is taking cards off the top of the deck, dropping in your hand and taking cards off the top, dropping them in your hand, maintaining this bottom card. Okay, and you do this over and over and over again. Okay, you're still maintaining the card. So wherever they tell you to stop, you just stop, make it look like you're, you know, uh, straightening up the cards and then show them this card, boom, the four of diamonds. Okay, so that was the Hindu shuffle. You can do a top force, a ripple force, a cut force, anything you want, okay? Get them to pick that four of diamonds. Now I go over here, we already have our double face card set up. 
So all you're doing is looking for that double face card. And I say, boom, look at that. Seven of clubs, was that the card you picked? They say no. Now, you got to change this seven of clubs into the four of diamonds. So you put it about halfway in the deck, probably about one third in. Okay, so about halfway down, one third in. And then this is where you're going to have to practice. And you're just flicking this part of the card right here. So what you want it to do is just flip over like that when you flick it, okay, onto the table. So here you have it, and you're gonna have to practice this move. And when you flick it down, you're gonna get stuff like that. Flick it down, it'll turn right in front of their eyes into their selected card. Now the reason why I use two decks is because then I can just turn this card over, place this card on the bottom, and then place this box back, you know, the cards back in the box and get rid of it. Now you, you, your gimmick is gone. You know, no one's gonna do that and you can do card tricks with this regular deck now, okay? But if you just wanted to use one deck, then you would just be, you would, you would just force with the bottom card, the double face card, okay? You can Hindu shuffle it, right? Have them stop, they look at that card, lose their card in the deck, maybe give it another, cut and then when you go through go boom look at this i made one card go face up the seven of clubs was that your card they'll say no and then you just do the the flick change which is just putting it about halfway in about one third down and then flicking this part with your middle finger and thumb and when you flick it out onto the table it'll change right into that it just turns over right into the four of diamonds but now you're stuck with this double face card in this deck so you're gonna have to ditch it you know either drop it in your lap palm it off whatever comfortable way you are with ditching it um or maybe you know another trick with a double face card and you can uh do that do another trick with the double face card already in your deck but you will have to get rid of this card if you just use one deck okay so that's it that i thought it was neat because it's visual so to share that with you and uh, that's today's tutorial. So just let me know what you think. Leave me a comment below. I hope you like it. And if you do need a double face card, just check out thebestmagicshop.com. Get the seven gaff card set because the five gaff card set doesn't have the double face in it. You're gonna need the seven one for this, okay? With the double face card and you get a whole bunch of other gaff cards as well, which is really good. Especially that short card is really neat too. Okay, let me know what you think. I appreciate it. Until next time.